Hmm, I'm okay. How to be Klingon. There are some people out there who claim to understand copyright procedure and they don't understand fair use and perhaps worst of all they get a friend involved in the process someone with a very distinctive voice to call up a person who's made a counterclaim and pretend to be a lawyer Bring yourself up to be reminded where you are in the program routine that you're running. You are a fake lawyer, unless you can actually ratify your position. I await your summons and... You really can concentrate on things that are valuable for your healing, because you do not operate for mental clarity. You're, you're a new ager, possibly, um, what's her name, Krista's boyfriend, perhaps? Is that Krista in the background? Is that Krista in the background? It may have been clearer when I was actually listening to the phone, but I could hear a young woman. It sounded like a young woman in the background. And I think it was Krista. Now, I don't know that, but she was the one who got my docs when I counterclaimed the DMCA. She got her friend, who's basically on her YouTube. How did you find this other YouTube user to basically call me up and threaten me. Impersonating a lawyer can be an offence because you're not a lawyer. If you're calling up someone pretending that you've got a client who is Krista and you're calling up me saying that I've committed a crime, that I'm harassing, that I'm racist, that I've uh, threatened um, her with death, amongst other things, uh, you might think that I'm legally in the wrong in terms of copyright. But right now, I have leverage over what is actually going on because you have made a number of slanderous claims harassing claims harassing actions and so I give you this one warning do not proceed any further or else I shall get the law involved you must offer proof of your innocence I will offer proof you look only at the depth of your own wealth right okay can you hear me now yes I can hear you can you yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, so your video is being used in a cyberbullying act with somebody else that's already in court, and I don't know if you are really, seriously, honestly uh, uh, aiding in helping... In uh, uh, one, one second, first of all, first of all, first of all, um, what is your legal status personally? Are you a lawyer? Yes. Okay, um... For the copyright claims department, my name is James Murdoch, and if you want to go further, we can go further. I have your address, I have your IP, I have everything here. No, you don't. Yes, well, yes I do. That, that's a lie, because... I have your address and everything. You do have my address. That is correct. Yes, it's in the mail. Why, why do you think you, I have you, your number? Anything one second, here? wait. Wait. You just said you had my IP. You do not have my IP. Oh, well, yes, yes, we do have your IP. How? Understand that I know people who... That's all the claim. The claim file goes to your provider. And if that reaches... Uh, Incorrect. Stalking, ...when people fear for their lives, because that person here, our, our client, was had even a death threat, so if that continues, there will be legal actions, and you will feel that. You want That's... To uh, you, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. You've just, com we, you've just committed know. slander. I am recording this for my lawyer, by the way. Uh, you just said that I have threatened well, someone with death. Record this for your lawyer. This is all legal. You are no, it's using not. a video. Listen, you're using a video. You're, you're, you're apparently... ...of the producer of that video. You have no right. No legal right. Um, you hear me? Well, actually, you're not acting like a lawyer at all. I don't know what your qualifications no. are. I happen to know several well, lawyers, and I have never spoken to anyone... It is irrelevant who you know. You're using what is what is the copyright status of material excuse me excuse me well uh, uh, that's not the point when it comes down to fair use what is the position of fair use 
Answer me that. When you, when, you do not, when you do not change the content and ridicule the image, it well, has nothing to do with parody, my friend. I'm very clear here. Actually, yes, it does. So if you continue to cause problems, guess what? It's going to react to you. You are, you, you, you are a fake so. lawyer. That's the way it seems to be. Unless you can actually ratify your position. I, I, await, I await your summons. And you really, and really can concentrate on things that are valuable for your healing because you do not operate for mental clarity. Okay, so you're you're a new ager, possibly um, what's her name, Krista's boyfriend, perhaps. Is that the case? No. Is that Krista in the background? Is that Krista in the background? You have no idea who you're talking to. Well, you have no idea what you're doing here. You want me to send you a letter? I can send you a letter. Really? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Yes, you can. But it, it will have to be a question of, it, listen to this, listen to this, this this is a legal warning, it will have to be something which is appropriate, because threats will be reported to the police, and understand that threats are taken very seriously. Well, I, li listen, if you, if you reported, uh, listen, if you reported my video to the authorities... Now, now, listen, 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 listen. You listening? Okay. Now, what? Now, listen. What was immoral about the video? What was immoral about the video? How do you compare a person to, to, to some, something that's Klingon? That's racist, first of all. No, that's comedy. Yes, that is racist. That is very racist because you're picking a race and making a mockery out of a person that has nothing to do with parody. You're English for Christ's sake. Where are your morals, sir? Well, okay. One, you're a fake lawyer. Two, you've got someone in the background who might be Krista. Three, that's not racism, that's slander. Four, you said I'm carrying out threats, that's also slander. And also, I've mentioned fair use. You don't seem to understand what fair use is. You don't seem to understand copyright law. And basically... You're, you're carrying out, you're carrying out threats. Then why, then, then why are you carrying out a communication to me in the most unprofessional manner I have ever heard, which certainly reflects your lack of legal standing, lack of legal training, because you, you, learn, you learn public relations in law, my friend. You learn public relations. If you... Actually, actually, I'm trying to get a word in edgeways because you keep on talking over me. As I say, I'm recording this and it can be reported to the authorities because you now have stepped over a line, my friend. You have stepped over a line. Me making a small comedy video, 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 making a comedy video, making a comedy video. Okay. I have not ma I uh, no no whatever evil that is that comes to you it has to stop that person what what is the legal status of evil what is the legal status of evil what is listen what is the legal status of evil you're not using legal language you're using fake legal language you're mixing it in with new age language which you have the right to do but not in a court of law you're talking about legality yet you do not understand legality and you're accusing me of carrying out some horrible things in some kind of cabal against your client who happens to be at least this seems to be the case probably a close personal friend to you rather than you actually being a genuine legal authority now i'm hanging up goodbye it is finished. The circle of vengeance is at last closed. You have done well, my human friend. Better than I expected. Now you know what it is to be a warrior. There is more to learn. Things you, you may have missed.
Run this program whenever you wish. And we will travel this road again.